Hello, I'm Bill Svitek, 360 Creative Coach, and today I want to teach you about the SWOT analysis board. Now, this is something that ironically, or maybe unironically, I learned from HBO Silicon Valley. There's a character of Jared who presents this to, to his, um, his team, and they use it to assess certain ideas, and then it becomes like, if you've ever seen Silicon Valley, it becomes like this running joke, they swap analyze everything, even like the dumbest things and whatever else. Hilarity ensues. Anyway, the point being, this is a very useful tool for whether in business or your own life. So SWOT means it's an, it's an acronym for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Okay. So strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. SWOT. So the way you utilize this is you put quadrants on a board and right so each quadrant represents uh, strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats and then you take an idea let's say you're you want to create a partnership with somebody else so you assess the viability of that partnership what are its strengths right well you know they they are able to do things that we don't currently have okay great that's a strength they have great marketing. Okay, that's that's a strength. Uh, then you assess the weaknesses. Well, uh, they are sort of sloppy with their administrative side. Okay, you know, and that that could or <coughs> excuse me, uh, when one of the weaknesses when Bob Iger was trying to merge uh, Disney with Pixar was well the culture. Of Disney could ruin Pixar, right? So that that was, well, technically that was a threat. <laughs> yeah. So let, let me actually put that in the threat column now that I think about it. But yeah. So so you consider the weaknesses, and then what are the opportunities? Well, uh, you know, we could expand into global markets with this partnership, whereas right now we're domestic. Okay, that's certainly an opportunity. Um, and threat, you know, uh, our cultures will clash and this will implode. So these are just kind of a couple of quick examples on a theoretical partnership of, of sorts. But what you really want to do is go as deep as you can with this. So that way you have a clear picture and can properly assess, is this partnership worth going forward on or not? And that doesn't mean like if, if you have 15 things in the threat column and the weaknesses column, but only like five in the strengths and opportunities column, that it's not worthwhile to pursue. It just... Because sometimes the positives can and should outweigh the negatives, but you have to see that based on this board. So that is the SWOT analysis board. It's used in a lot of companies to assess ideas, but you can actually apply it to your everyday life, uh, You know, whether it be changing a career, to do a certain project, whatever the case may be, you can really get a lot out of it. And in fact, I encourage you to comment down below and let me know of some applications that you can think of in your own life that you would like to use this moving forward. I'd be very curious to know and maybe it'll spark some ideas for other people as well. Anyway, thank you for taking the time to tune in. I'm at Phil Svitek on social media. If you want to follow along with whatever I'm doing and other free lessons and content of that nature, or you can just, of course, check out philsvitek.com and I hope to see you next time.